there was a birthday party or a gathering for dinner you were thinking about doing, don't do it. You'll have to stay home. The carrot they offered in easing restrictions apparently hasn't worked, and now they are warning they may have to use a stick. Right now, you're an idiot. You need to understand that we're all in this together. Emotional damage! The federal government has invoked the Emergencies Act. Patience is wearing thin, and your refusal has cost all of us. People who are incubators for every variant to come, walking around lawfully unvaccinated? That's psychotic. For the unvaccinated, you're looking at a winter of severe illness and death. For yourselves, your families, and the hospitals you may soon overwhelm. About this, in a world of threats and tyrants, and terror, you know what our biggest enemy is in America? Our fellow Americans. Because they are the ones that are propagating this outbreak. Being frustrated that there is still a percentage of the population are, who are not vaccinated. I wish that he would go further to restrict the activities of the unvaccinated. Vaccinated person having a heart attack? Yes, come right on in. We'll take care of you. Unvaccinated guy who gobbled horse goo? Rest in peace, Wheezy. Shouldn't they have to pay more into the system because they are collapsing our health system? If you're willing to walk among us unvaccinated, you are an enemy. Well, you know, it's my rights. And my... Okay. <laughs> but I don't care. Pandemic of the unvaccinated. Well, look, the only pandemic we have is among the unvaccinated. And, that, and, they're, and they're killing people. Freedom not to follow the facts, even if your freedom kills people? What kind of freedom is that? What kind of freedom do they really want? vaccination universally have the military run it if you don't want to get vaccinated you better be ready to prove your conscientious objector status in court it's almost like it's going to be two americas Well, it, this is exactly what Australians need to understand. The, the world is changing. You only have to look at what's happened in the Ukraine. Uh, you need strong leadership. You need the ability to draw a line in the sand and to work with your coalition partners to make sure uh, that that line in the sand is made real and that there is understanding that if you cross that line, then there are consequences. There's a new world order trying to appear here. And the title of this session are we ready for a new world order? Some have said that I was given keys to the city of your dreams. I'm more content to walk outside the walls and catch a breeze. I'm more inclined to climb on by your ride internal seas. I'm more alive to vibe inside a mansion full of trees. I do this for a reason that they can't pretend to green. I lose myself infused in something more than what they seen. I'm not a slave to greed, I don't embrace your make-believe. I've never been for sale, no matter what they think I need. So let it be decreed, let this music serve the deed. Let it spread like a disease, let it spawn a noble seed. There's more than meets the eye, there's more than meets the price. If you can't see the sky, there's too much artificial light. I can't predict my path, but they can't fully see my past. I'm running from the flash, but heading straight inside the blast. A mountain full of ego built upon a heap of trash. It's exactly what you get when you can't fully do the math. What we are very proud of now is this young generation like uh, Prime Minister Trudeau, uh, 
President of France and elsewhere, Argentina and so on, so we penetrate the cabinets. They support campaigns like We Are Love, We Go Together, and We Are Social Entrepreneurs. We love this! I know, because you're we demonic, because you're led by demonic forces. The very idea of human being some sort of natural concept is really going to change. Our bodies would be so high tech, we won't be able to really distinguish between what's natural and what's artificial. You can't use a gun for self protection. That's not a right that you have. Where is this angry, often nativist populism coming from, which seems to be ripping through like wildfire so many Western democracies? And he came to mark the one year anniversary of the confirmation of unmarked graves. <laughs> rise of the global super elite and the fall of everybody else. It's, it's very, you know, kind of out of the blue in a way that uh, it's never been seen before. Now, are you at the point where you'll have to request the military to come in? Your 16 seconds are up. Your 16 seconds are up. No, no, nobody, nobody believes you. No!